Everywhere you look, cars, planes, trains, even your phone, motors keep our world spinning. But here's the shocker. The supply chains feeding them are fragile, costly, and unstable. Copper prices swing wildly. Rare earth magnets spark geopolitical battles, and inefficiencies bleed energy and money every single day. So, what if the real leap forward isn't making magnetic motors slightly better, but reinventing them entirely? Today, we uncover the rebirth of electrostatic motors, an idea once forgotten, now revived with modern science. Stick around, because this could flip everything you thought you knew about electricity. Why we needed a new motor. Electric motors run our world. They're in cars, planes, trains, laptops, factories, and even inside your pocket. Without them, the modern age grinds to a halt. And yet, hidden beneath their reliability is a fragile truth most people never think about. These motors depend on copper and rare earth magnets, materials pulled from supply chains that are anything but secure. Prices swing like wild pendulums. Mining has enormous environmental costs. And worse, the geopolitics of rare earths often concentrates power in the hands of a few nations. Imagine building the future of clean energy only to discover the key ingredients are trapped in someone else's backyard. Then comes the physics problem. Conventional motors rely on high currents moving through coils of copper. Those currents create heat. That heat means wasted energy. And wasted energy means higher costs. Add in gearboxes. Heavy, friction-filled, expensive, and the inefficiencies multiply. A system designed to move us forward is constantly bleeding power. For decades, engineers have tried to push magnetic motors further, but the gains are incremental. Margins shaved here and there. The question hanging in the air is haunting. What if the biggest leap won't come from making magnetic motors better, but from abandoning them altogether? The strange origins of electrostatic motors. The story doesn't begin in Silicon Valley. It began in the 1740s, long before electricity had any real use. Benjamin Franklin and Andrew Gordon, men chasing the mysteries of lightning, built strange spinning machines powered not by magnets, but by static charges. Picture it, glass discs rubbed with cloth, sparks leaping across gaps, wooden rotors jolting into motion, they had discovered the electrostatic motor, a machine that moved without magnets. To 18th century eyes, it was magic. But there was a problem. These early motors needed extremely high voltages to work. With no insulation materials, no protective designs, and no real way to control the raw force of static electricity, the machines quickly turned dangerous. Sparks would leap unpredictably, Motors would break down, and sometimes they'd simply shock their operators like miniature thunderbolts. So the world moved on. Magnetic motors proved easier, safer, and cheaper. Electrostatics became a forgotten curiosity, relegated to dusty physics textbooks. For over two centuries, no one dared to challenge the verdict. Electrostatic motors were fascinating, but hopeless. Or were they? Because today, nearly 300 years later, a tiny startup believes Franklin's impractical toy may finally be ready to rewrite history. C-Motive's breakthrough. C-Motive isn't just another motor company. It's a gamble, a bet that the old rules of electricity can be broken and rebuilt for the modern age. Born out of PhD research, this startup has taken the dusty concept of electrostatic motors and scaled it into something industrial, something real. At first glance, their machine looks familiar. Like every motor, it has a stationary stator and a rotating rotor. But peel back the casing, and the differences jump out immediately. 
No heavy copper windings. No rare earth magnets. No steel cores. Instead, rows of thin, flat electrodes, almost like slices of a futuristic circuit board. These plates, printed directly onto PCBS, form the heart of the motor. Half are fixed in place as the stator. The other half is mounted on the rotor, spinning with the shaft. Instead of being pushed and pulled by magnetic fields, they're charged with high voltages, creating powerful electrostatic forces that drag the rotor around. It's a subtle but radical shift. Conventional motors increase torque by driving more current, meaning more heat and more energy loss. C-Motive flips this equation. Torque rises with voltage, not current. That means far less copper, far less wasted energy, and no gearboxes groaning under the load. In fact, their design uses about 90% less copper than a traditional motor. Zero permanent magnets, no exotic electrical steels. Just PCBS, recycled aluminium, polymers, and a special fluid we'll get to soon. A motor that sidesteps fragile supply chains and still promises higher efficiency. For decades, electrostatics were dismissed as impractical, but C-Motive's motor is proof that with the right materials and design, the impossible might just work. Yet one enormous obstacle remains. The high voltage problem and secret fluid. High voltage. That's the phrase that haunted every attempt at building an electrostatic motor. Push the voltage too high, and the invisible battlefield between rotor and stator turns violent. Air itself begins to break down, releasing a chain reaction of sparks. Engineers call it dielectric breakdown. To the rest of us, it looks like lightning erupting inside a motor. This was the curse that doomed Franklin's experiments. And it's the same problem that held back anyone else daring enough to try. How do you contain thousands of volts in a space smaller than a credit card's width without frying everything around it? C-Motive's answer is their most guarded secret, a proprietary dielectric fluid. Instead of air sitting between the plates, this mysterious liquid fills the gap. It can withstand around 4,000 volts without breaking. No arcs, no sparks, just pure controlled electrostatic force. But the fluid does more than just insulate. It cools. It carries away heat far more efficiently than air, allowing the motor to run cooler and longer. It extends lifespan. It stabilizes performance. It turns what was once a deadly flaw into a hidden strength. C-Motive won't reveal the recipe. They only hint that it's safe, non-toxic, and made from commodity chemicals, not exotic or rare materials. The exact formula stays locked behind closed doors. Because in many ways, it is the formula. Without it, the entire system would collapse back into sparks and failure. This secret sauce changes everything. Suddenly, the electrostatic motor is no longer a dangerous curiosity. It's a practical machine. But does it actually deliver in the real world? That's the next test, and the numbers may shock you. Real world numbers and testing. It's one thing to build a flashy prototype. It's another to let it grind away in the real world, day after day. So, how does C-Motive's motor actually perform when it leaves the lab? Let's start with efficiency. Traditional geared motors, the kind you'll find driving industrial conveyor belts, often limp along at around 65% efficiency once you factor in losses from gearboxes, heat, and poor speed matching. C-Motive's electrostatic design, around 90%. That's not a minor improvement. That's a leap, and numbers translate directly to dollars. A standard two-horsepower geared motor can chew through enough electricity to rack up huge operating costs. Swap in C-Motive's motor, and they estimate up to $1,400 in savings per motor per year. 
scale that across thousands of machines, and suddenly you're talking tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands, shaved off annual bills. One brewery put the claims to the test. For two months, their conveyor ran up to 12 hours a day, five days a week. No downtime, no overheating, no failures. The energy savings, about 30% compared to their old setup. The operators barely noticed the motor was running, nearly silent, humming along like it wasn't even there. And the kicker? These motors don't need rare earth magnets or heavy electrical steel. They're built from PCBS, recycled aluminium, polymers, and that special dielectric fluid. Materials that are abundant, affordable, and stable in supply. Of course, skeptics remain. How will it compare against cutting-edge designs like axial flux motors? Can it scale beyond conveyors into EVS or aircraft? Those questions remain. But the early trials prove one thing. Electrostatic motors aren't just working. They're competing. Future Potential and Limits C-Motive's motor is aimed squarely at one battlefield. Torco heavy, low-speed industrial work. Conveyor belts, pumps, and HVAC systems. Places where efficiency matters more than speed and where gearboxes drag systems down. But the idea itself, scaling torque with voltage, not current, is far bigger. In theory, these motors could one day drive vehicles or even power tools. The question is whether the fluid, plates, and control systems can scale cleanly. For now, C-Motive is cautious, focusing on industries that burn cash on electricity every day. But make no mistake, the door to bigger revolutions is open. C-Motive's electrostatic motor isn't just another piece of engineering. It feels like a doorway cracked open into an unfamiliar future. Its reliance on hidden fluids, high voltages, and silent plates makes it more mystery than machine. Unlike the familiar hum of magnets and copper, this design whispers of possibilities that seem almost alien. Will it scale? or remain a tantalizing footnote in energy history. No one can say for certain. But sometimes, the technologies that seem strangest at first are the ones that quietly redraw the boundaries of what we think machines, and energy itself, can become.